Hey everybody, I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and in this tutorial, we're gonna look at two different ways to create text in Adobe Illustrator. Before we get started, make sure to pay attention to this box. It's over here somewhere on the right of your screen because that's where I'm gonna put all of the shortcut and quick keys as I'm using them. I may not always tell you what they are, but I'll always put them over in that area. I'm also using Adobe Illustrator CC 2017. In this latest version, it's gonna input what they call lorem ipsum or like dummy text into my text boxes when I create them. You might not be seeing that if you're not fully updated. So if you're able to, go ahead and do that update if you want that placeholder text. Otherwise, just follow along and type in your own text as needed. We have two different ways in which we can create text in Illustrator. To start with, select the type tool by using the shortcut key T or selecting the T over here in the toolbar. Now the first way is point type. You can just do that by clicking anywhere on the artboard. If you're totally updated with Creative Cloud, you'll notice some lorem ipsum text. It's basically just dummy placeholder text that gets put in. You can also just type in whatever you want. And the other way of creating type is called area type, and you can do that by clicking and dragging. The difference is with the bounding box on the point type over here, as you click and drag it, it'll stretch and skew your type. Also, please always hold shift when you do that. We really don't want to skew our type. This type of text box will expand as you type. So it just keeps going and going and going. Each line of text is independent. What it doesn't do is wrap the text. You can sort of fake it by pressing enter, but you really don't want to do that with an entire paragraph of text like we have over here. So this text box, by clicking and dragging and creating a text box, will allow you to define the area in which your text wraps. So as I scale this down, you'll notice how the text is beginning to wrap inside of whatever I've defined, whatever boundaries I've defined here. If you see this little red plus on your text box, that means that you have overset text. There's more text than what can fit inside of your text box. So if you keep scaling this down, you'll notice that we have more and more text in until we reach the end. And that text will wrap differently just depending on how large or small your text box is. So to recap, I like to use the point type tool to quickly create typographic treatments, if I'm just adding a few words to a document, versus the area type tool I like to use if I'm adding paragraphs of text, or I need columns of text, or I need text to wrap, it's the much better option. Well, that wraps up this tutorial. That was also a horrible pun, I'm sorry. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tutorials. Until next time, see you guys later.